wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. When we were younger, we were all nihilistic and didn't care. Live for today, live fast. I thought we were going to change the world. It's the troublemaking is what attracted me. Drink beer and pass stuff up. <laughs> Punk rock was supposed to be about no responsibility, no rules, I'm gonna do things my way. Maybe punk rock was never meant to grow up, but it did. <laughs> Having a baby changed everything. And you I get up a lot earlier now. I know you're tired. No, I can't take 20 Barbies. How about this one? This one's like called Hearts and Skulls. It's tough to be a punk rock hero and to be a good authority figure for your kids. Homework, bath, bed. How am I supposed to shelter the F word? The two dominatrixes on my arm? How do you explain that to a four-year-old? No! There's nothing really in the punk rock ethos that prepares you for being a dad. I was a teenage anarchist. My parents weren't really present. Our dads weren't there, man. Being gone all the time doesn't give you that bonding that you need. How did we go from rebelling against our own parents to become parents ourselves? The classic parent attitude to a kid, like, I brought you into this world, I gave you life. It's like, I just think completely opposite. My kids gave me life, you know? They gave me a reason. <laughs> That's what I want to hold on to is that feeling that we can make a change up there. And maybe the way we change the world is by raising better kids. Sometimes you think about, oh, should I have tattooed my forehead? You know? I was a teenage anarchist.